let's assemble the X idler bracket. So we need the bracket and one smooth idler, one tooth idler, two M5 by 35 hex bolts, uh, some tools, M8 and uh, two washers, two M5 lock nuts. Yeah, and we also have this spacer. So let's just start with the smooth idler, which should be on this side. So let's just start by applying that. It should be on the upper as it is now and let's try to get the shim inside. So <coughs> and at this point you should make sure that the bolt is falling into its slots. Just make it sure it's flush with um, uh, everything else. So that should do it. Then the idler should move freely and we can add the washer and the lock nut. And this nut is not supposed to be very tight. You will just uh, destroy the. You will just break the bracket if you tighten this too much. So just apply some tension, not much. This should be good. I think that's too much actually. Release a little bit again. Yeah. So you can feel the either run smooth. <coughs> then everything should be good and let's do the other side starting with the bolt and then adding the toothed idler actually at this point we should probably try to get one shim inside you see Okay, there you go. So we have the idler in place with the shim. So that's nice. And again, make sure the hex is the right way. And I'm gonna hit it with my plier. Just use whatever, keep it in your hands. So we don't destroy anything so I think this is good now the idler should move freely without you know it has room for the upper idler as well and apply the washer and the nut not so very exciting <clears throat> and again don't tighten this too much it's better to be loose than tight this that's it so next step will be to add it to the x-axis